For those of you who brown bag it every day, you probably recognize one of these. It's a plastic container. And for those of you who have ever microwaved, say, curry or spaghetti sauce in one of those, you will also know what a pain they are to keep clean. Now the challenge is, you actually need to do two things when keeping plastic containers clean. You have to get the stains off, and you have to get that nasty stink out. And I've been asked a bunch of times how to do both. So here is my method. Oh, and stick around till the end of the video because I've put some handy care tips right at the end. The prim and proper way to clean these containers is to hand wash them with dish soap and water. However, the way most of us deal with cleaning our plastic containers is by simply popping them into the dishwasher, guilty as charged. Now in doing that, I've noticed that the dishwasher doesn't get all of those stains out. So the question remains, how do we remedy these stains and smells that the dishwasher missed? you can usually get them out with a good scrubbing using very warm water and simple dish liquid. You can also use a cleaning toothbrush to scrub and a little bit of elbow grease, which is free and readily available. Now for tougher stains like tomato sauce or curry, you wanna make a paste using baking soda with some water and scrub the containers a little bit more. You can also deal with the container odors by simply applying baking soda into an empty container, let it sit there overnight, and then empty the baking soda out, rinse the container, and your container will be nice and clean and odor free. Another natural method is to use the almighty power of the sun to not only clean your container, but to deodorize it as well. Now, I tried this, and to my surprise, it actually did work. So if you don't have baking soda handy, I'm willing to bet that you have sunshine available to you, at least for part of the year. The sun also works well to remove odors from wood cutting boards and wood utensils, so there's an interesting tip. I've also read that Vinegar works, as do lemons, and even oxygen bleach, just don't mix them all together. In every container's blessed little life, there does come a time when all the cleaning in the world can't save it, and that's the problem with using plastic containers to store your food. They have a very short life cycle. That's why these containers only cost us a few bucks, and they end up looking and smelling terrible after only a short period of time. Your best bet is to invest in some glass containers instead. They are much easier to clean, they don't transfer any odors or flavors into your food, they don't absorb stains or smells, and they can be reused again and again. They can be very easily cleaned in the dishwasher, and the lids, to avoid that dishwasher smell, you can just hand wash them, and that works very well. Now, if you want, you can even reuse things like tomato sauce jars, or you can pick up the ever-popular and almighty mason jar for food storage and for transporting your lunch to and from work. I put salads in here all the time, and I love using them. We have so many containers in my house that we are kind of cycling out of our kitchen, and we're moving toward the glass idea. So instead of throwing these containers out, we actually like to use them for storing things like screws, buttons, and batteries, or any other little things around the house. If these tips have helped you out, let us know by clicking the thumbs up button, because we're happy when you're happy. Leave us your cleaning questions and comments in the comment box below. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button to catch more of our great cleaning videos, including tips, tricks, product reviews, and a whole bunch of other great cleaning stuff. Remember also, you can visit our website, which is cleanmyspace.com, to get all of this and more in detailed article format. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Here are two more tips for keeping your food containers in tip-top shape. If you use simple cooking spray, you can beat the stains before they sink in. Just spray some in the container before you put your food in, and your plastic will be protected. And when you put your plastic containers in the dishwasher, only use the top rack. Some dishwashers have these heating elements in the bottom, and you want to keep your containers as far away from those as possible, just to be on the safe side. 
I've seen a container or two melt in my day.